still have hope. Now, even though we started wrongly, I want to tell the grand community today that as it is right now, let us narrow our minds to reality. The reality on ground is that out of the mess of the authority, which many of you here have gone out of your way to verify and met people that matter in the system and know that there is something here for us. But let us just bring our mind to the get It is far or be different from how we presented to you at the beginning of this house call. So on this note, I want to tell Nigerians what we are expecting now is not as if I deserve it. Maybe you don't deserve it. Not even you. It's not as if I merited it. But God just decided to bless us, to grace us by touching the authorities' hands to release this money through this our channel. And I want to tell you, for as much as those of you that started with us, started the process with us, we are going to use the existing structure to release this, to disburse this money. No need, there is no grant. We are not, even at this point, I want to tell you that nobody should give us names. Don't call us grant handler. We are not grant handlers. Don't call, there is nothing I hear, I'm hearing anything, there is nothing like that, nothing like AGP gen grant. We will welcome if you even put us among the facilitators. Maybe we can manage that. Maybe we can manage that. And we want to promise you that as much you believe in us and we have labored with us, whatever we get up there, we are going to share it. At least if we go for a cow and we could not get the cow, he won't detail you something. Let us take something back home. So on this note, I want to say that as much as disappointing some of us may be, there is still hope. And we have to be wise so that we don't trade in the same way and be expecting different results. The government is only merciful to us to release this to us because we don't have any evidence to use against the government that this money belongs to us. Neither do we have anything at hand. The government want to give us this money, which they can decide to use any other means or any other channel. That would have been, that would be worse if we totally lost out. But as much as they have agreed and decided to give us this, no matter how it is, I think we need to open our eyes to reality and we need to be patient with them. I think we need to also be careful so that we will not end up in the name of getting it beat, in the name of losing patience and lose out to a completely. Because how did we have something that today actually money was given to us? This money belongs to us. We can say, I will leave the process. Whoever is holding that money, we the fact, whoever is holding that money, we contend that with that person to get the money to ourselves the way we want it. But as I'm talking to you, I don't think anybody has anything to prove that against what the government is releasing to us or what the government is telling us. So the topic of this my meeting today is to tell Nigeria that the government is not our enemy. Indeed, some of, of us have mistreated ourselves, some of us have oppressed ourselves by the privilege of the position or by the privilege of the information they think they have by extorting people with lies and deceit. And we want all of us from the beginning of this program, we want all of us to be careful the way we don't shout our money. We want all of us because even when we started, we know where we started, but we don't know where we are going to. Now this is it today. Some people have collected more than what they will get in this grant. This is uh, another issue to be discussed in another day. But as much as those of you that are moderate in your dealing, you, I promise you that whatever you are going to have, you still, go, you still have to thank God for it. Because if me and you is to be a civil servant, you may not have it 
uh, throughout the end of our career. So I want to tell you, as much you are motivated, either as a coordinator, as a as a CEO, you will have something to take home and something to give to your people. At least, if you cannot give them what you promised them, at least you are giving them something. But I only pity those people who have fall into the victim of dubious and wicked uh, extortionism. So on this note, we have gone a long way. God that has happened. I won't, I won't undermine the role of a very important figure in this in our midst today. The role he has played in this success and progress that we are expecting right now. I will not undermine him. Many of you might have been hearing his name, but you don't know we have not even had of him is a silent achiever. He's somebody who choose to remain remain silent and walk on the ground than being lousy. A lot of people are speaking and blowing all sorts of nonsense in social media. These people they are nothing. They don't even close to the reality, but they claim to know it all. They are just being sounding just to see who they will go to suck his or her blood. I want to see what will be kept within few days remaining. They are seeing more life here. Yeah. Looking for victims. Looking for people to exploit. So, um, on this very ground, We have gone far. We did online before we deal with ghosts, but now we deal with people. I want to tell you that whatever process is going on, don't push the blame to anybody. Neither our daddy is to tell one camera. He is part of this. This existing structure is what we are going to do. We don't have any data of our own. As much you come for screening, you do your screening, just count yourself as the beneficiary of this money. So, um, for everybody panicking, nothing like that. So people say, oh, God, we are not recruiting new data. We are still working with um, our daddy, uh, Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakaman. We are still together. We have to carry out, no matter how it is, we started together and we have to end it together. People have been saying all manner of things to divide us. People have been saying all manner of things 